Hello, hello, hello. Definite big YouTube broadcaster. Please stop bullying and harassment. Thank you. What's up, y'all? We got them. Hey, right early. They hate no good guy. Right early. you get up in here listen we got some haters on the line and on the loose messing with the not so we got to clear the record first of all i didn't even plan on doing another video about jaguar right in her pierce morgan interview or exposing who she is i didn't even plan on doing any of that i want everybody to know that right now okay i talk about a lot of things i don't follow the clicks and views and stuff and as a matter of fact if you gonna talk about jag According to what the audience is believing and how viral she is, it's in your best interest to talk positive about her, to try to bait her to your platform for an interview. You got somebody with me in a thumbnail, with my dick out in a thumbnail, which is crazy, talking about me being jealous of, no. All I did was try to help Jag. She's a psychopath. She's a manipulator. She's a gaslighter. Gaslighting is an art form to her. You, on the other hand, you called the police on her. You publicly bragged about collecting $2,500 for getting her arrested, which means that you're a snitch. Everything that I know, you know. And I, and I, I just find it funny and fascinating that all of a sudden when a click and a view, aka revenue and attention for you, is at stake, you wanna now all of a sudden flip the switch and act like you don't know Jaguar right like everybody else know Jaguar right. Act like what I'm saying or what somebody else is saying is not true because you're hoping and praying that you and the Fiend team can get a click in the view and lure her on y'all platform to then flip on her and finally tell what you and everybody else know that she's a crazy lunatic psychopath which came out of your own mouth before. I stand on principle. The fact that I'm not willing to sell my soul, my moralities, or my integrity, not even on YouTube, for a click and a view, money, attention, that says a lot about my character. I would never sell my soul for nothing to nobody and anybody. Then on top of it, what's the sense of you coming after me? That was last week beef. You and your guy got packed up. And every time you play with me, I'm going to steal your title and everything. And show you, you're not, you're not nothing. What's the sense of you coming out to me when there's y'all whole beef over there mentioning me? I don't watch you. I don't pay attention to you at all. Seems like you pay attention to me more. Than, I don't care what you say. The fact that you showing a video of me with my me on the beach in Brazil dancing off key because there was no music and I was just having fun. For you to show this video, I do this on YouTube all the time. I'm goofy like this. But you literally showed this video and had your picture as a talking bubble right there next to my thing because you want some of me. I don't care what you say on top of playing this. How are you going to play this? What are you doing? You, you think you're going to shame me for what? You think you're going to get some of my supporters? You're not. It's locked and loaded. You so insecure. You can't even break in an algorithm for yourself. So... You want to talk about Jag and Ray J and all of them, but you got to borrow my name to do it because you're a fuck boy. So people are giving pushback on this picture that I took with Jag. By the way, these other people are in Texas, around Texas, have never met Jag and never took a picture with Jag. I got an opportunity to witness and experience this woman's actual essence. Okay? And to me, in my honest viewpoint, she knows what she's doing, which is what makes her dangerous. You know, sociopaths, they have an empathy and they care about other people. Psychopaths don't give a damn about nobody else. So I got psychopath vibes from her and a gaslighter. I've never listened to nor believed anything that she had to say about Diddy. It's all a grift. Everybody around her, anybody and whoever's around her tied to the industry, either they go with that grift or they don't, don't go with that grift. Jackson, you take a picture with somebody and act like you knew them and, you know, setting them up and laughing. Out like, like nobody, nobody knows you outside of from the internet. But anybody like Ray J to come out and say they trying to pay you bread to do an interview, 
Jaguar Rat is not going to interview with somebody like Ray J. Because he's not going to get on code. What I mean by that? Yesterday, we seen her go to the Star Report. And she basically told the Star Report, me and you, your best friend or whatever, I know him. And she highlighted that before she started talking her talk because she wanted him to know that we got mutuals and whatever narrative I'm about to push, you need to go along with it and not question it. Ray J has been speaking out about accusations against Diddy and whether they're true or not. And he's somewhat been called the diddler for taking up for Diddy. People saying I'm coming out the Jaguar right because I'm taking up for Diddy and Jay-Z. I don't give a fuck about none of it. I tell the truth. Okay, I know I can get way more clicks and views uh, if I go ahead and say she's right and she's telling the truth. I can play that game, but guess what? I don't want to play that game because it's too much real stuff happening for a click and a view. Fuck all of that, okay? So for everybody in my comment section, somebody said, but she has been right about some things. Jaguar Wright has said a million things. And when you say a million things, just because you're right about one or two don't mean you're factual or that you completely solved the puzzle. A puzzle got a thousand pieces. How many of us had thousand piece puzzles and we finally find one or two pieces to go together and the puzzle just sitting there? All of them, okay? She mixes truth and lies. The truth that she uses is the truth that we all know and that we all can say. And then she used this ideology that she's this artist and that she has this phenomenal resume and this tie to Jay-Z to not only tie herself to Jay-Z, but to other people. That's the lie. That's the gaslight. See, gaslighting, you don't lie when you gaslight. You manipulate and fabricate the truth. We all do a little gaslighting every day in your own personal life. Somebody... Oh, my baby is so smart. My baby grades is up. And I'm trying to tell you my baby going to be all of this. The truth is, your baby grades are up, but you ain't telling the people that your baby had D's and C's and now they got B's and probably one A to make them sound like a rocket scientist because that's, you, that's what you want. So we gaslight our realities in order to paint a better future. That's what we do. And that's not malicious. Everybody do that because it's protecting and preserving what they themselves are working hard towards. Jaguar Wright is gaslighting the public knowledge with this whimsical ideology that she somehow has personal experience and personal reference with these people. They're now saying Jaguar Wright says she had Diddy, she has Diddy tapes. I've met Jaguar Wright. I've talked to Jaguar right for years. Jaguar right been on Storm and Row platform saying a million things and maybe one or two things came up and they remixed that play with that. And, you know, I guess she's the female Nostradamus, so to speak, right? She ain't never said nothing about no tapes until the tapes drop. But she she been talking about Diddy and Jay-Z. Ask me what she said two, three years ago and I ask you and you can't say anything other than she's been talking about Diddy and Jay-Z for a long time. That means she's a grifter. She want her name attached and tied to these people. She's scorned and miserable. Jay-Z gave her an opportunity and it failed. She's bad for business, bipolar crazy. I know people in her real life that introduced... She said she went on Pierce Morgan and said she's been performing... For 30 years since she was 13. No, you started giving birth when you was 13. Okay. Performing at the church and then and this is the gaslight. Okay. She probably she was singing in the church choir and at home and all of this. Okay, she was doing all of that. But that's not actual performing. So when you go on a Pierce Morgan show and don't explain that and gaslight the truth, you make all these people believe that you just somehow this Nina Simone type of artist where you still relevant playing in the little local clubs and oh okay I forgot she just went viral she was at a karaoke bar like a week ago before she did Pierce Morgan and it got about 200,000 views so I guess that was her you know because since everybody on the internet got the mind of a goldfish you don't think about her pay. all you think about it oh my gosh I just seen her in the video they had 200,000 views and she was singing karaoke but you don't know she was singing YouTube songs, Homeless, E Night of Dumpsters, Unaliving Dogs, Wed Pampers, Got Chrome Disease. 
casting spells, unalived her own mama. See, that's the stuff that y'all know. The people that's saying, oh, the knot is hated and Sean David Wade. First of all, I don't even watch that bitch. Because no matter what you say, how much she hates, she's still going to run back over there to that dog. Rather she go to jail, he interview her son. Well, no matter what he do to her, she going to find her way to run back over there to that dog. And I don't watch him. The fact that you sitting up there talking about we're haters for telling the truth and standing on what we said on when you was on Mad Day and you said the same thing too. Let's not forget that. Like, what are you talking about? So all these people in these comments, listen to me. Somebody said, what happened? Did she tell something on you because she hadn't lied yet? You, and this is a white girl. You're so fucking dumb. Can you please tell me what truth she said? Besides talking about Jay-Z and Diddy. And what makes you think she did something to me for me to tell the truth? This is the society we live in. If I tell the truth and it's not going along with the narrative, everybody want to demonize me and say that I have a personal problem or I'm the problem, right? I, this is why I can't talk about Diddy because this is why I can't cover all of that stuff right now because I, I, I believe a lot of it is a lie. I definitely believe Jaguar is a lie. So what's the sense of me talking about Jaguar? I'm not finna create a hate train or a hate page for Jag. I didn't see, I didn't, I didn't see it happen. I don't give a damn about that. Don't put my motherfucking name in no shit of me and my dick out in your thumbnail. Playing with me if you know that I told the full truth about this bald-headed bitch. Somebody said, who paid you to say that, bud? Listen, sweetheart, I am losing money talking about Jag. Um, thank you. Somebody said you fine, fine, did not be back, messed up the picture. And Shelly Mac, I love me some Jag. This lady right here has been around through it all, too. This lady, Shelly Mac, she's been around the entire time when Jag has been jagging out. She knows about Jag admitting that she's on lithium in the hospital, calling the VA, doing all of these things. She knows all of that. Dookie voice. Baby, dookie voice. Dookie voice. You know, somebody even was like... Maybe they put they put in the hospital and they gave us something. I said, ma'am, ain't nobody wasting their resources on Jag. Ain't nobody wasting their technology. This motherfucker try to make Jag by right sound like the Manchurian candidate or something. Nobody's wasting their money, their technology on Jag. I swear to God, it's not happening. I'm going to laugh at you when you have to apologize because clearly you have not done your research beyond what she's saying, sir. I have, and these people are sick. Because clearly you have not done your research beyond what she's saying, sir. That means if she says something so broad, broadly construed, Jay-Z, the only person tied to Harvey Weinstein, Diddy, J, uh, 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 all of these people is Sean Carter. So she say that for you to go out and do research, to string together to make this an actual fact. Sounds like a conspiracy. Okay? So... To protect my piece, I'm just finna block y'all. Even you, Shelly. Sorry, not sorry. You ain't put no money in my buckets. I'm just blocking these motherfuckers. Like, really. Because y'all are literally automatic Democratic voters or, or whatever. I don't know. Okay, so I'm blocking y'all. Blocking. Like, don't come at me and try to tell me about somebody that you don't even know that you listening to over the internet that I've been in the space with. She dragged her family. All it is. Like, if, if it, people at this point in time, if y'all sitting up here thinking that y'all gonna tear my platform down by exposing some hateful, harmful, or even lying on me, I don't give a fuck. If Jaguar Wright can still be and maintain this delusional narrative that she's somehow a celebrity and somebody didn't need to be celebrated, and if anybody speak against it, they're a hater. So let pardon me. I don't want to be a hater. Somebody said she didn't lie about them horse tranquilizers, aka ketamine, in those people's drinks. But she wasn't talking about the pink cocaine until this thing shit hit with Diddy. And now all of a sudden, oh, we got to go to Jag. Because now that this public fact is out there, Jag is going to play with it. And guess what? Jag is also finna throw herself at a couple of Diddy parties. Some other celebrities who she's mad at and want a response from because she need attention. 
And that's when she started talking about the horse tranquilizers. Why she ain't been saying nothing about the pink cocaine, you know? Those are actual facts. She don't give us nothing solid or tangible. Nothing solid, nothing tangible, nothing you can taste, nothing you can touch, nothing you can see, no picture, no video, no evidence, nothing. All she give us is a Wikipedia page saying that Jay-Z gave her a chance and decided, you know what, I don't, I'm not fucking with you. You was an understudy, understudy of Tierra Marie and A. Marie, okay? He prioritized them over you. And that was way after you left. It was bad timing too, Jag. Okay, Jill Scott and all of them. They passed you up. Macy, they passed you up. They've been in movies and everything. They passed up, sweetheart. She doesn't give anything that not already public or rumored to be true. Exactly. And like I said, outside of giving what's public or rumored to be true, she would plop herself in the middle of it and, and, and act like and paint this narrative, gaslighting, that she was somehow right there. In the middle of everything. Bitch, I'm like, is you the ghost that took Scrooge back so he can figure out his mistakes and all of this? Because, lady, you wasn't nowhere to be found. Don't nobody fuck with you, Jag. <laughs> Let's be clear. And niggas say, oh, they're not jealous because Jag Wild Wright took a picture with Rick Rouse. Well, guess what? And you speak, and, 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 and this is right here was, and I'm glad. Let me let me go to that. Let me go to that to show y'all. Because, see, I'm not a hater. I'm glad. I am so glad. Okay, I can't do it on this one. I am so, so ecstatic and glad that Jack White Wright took a picture with Rick Walsh. Want me to tell you why? Because now we get to talk about him in the context of dealing with a truth teller, Jonathan Odie, who said Rick Ross is gay. Ain't nobody listened to him. Who said Rick Ross threatened and harassed him because they was doing freak outs with Diddy and casting the hotel room. Rick Ross taking a picture with Jag Wild Wright probably was one of the biggest mistakes that he could have made because once Jag catch hold of Jonathan Wright saying it, Rick Ross is gay and was at the Diddy Freak House and everything he said about him and Cassie, that went over our head. And not only did he say that, because anybody can say anything, he said he has proof to prove it's true. Number one, he said he filed the lawsuit against Diddy and he settled it for $5 million. That right there was the fact that people could go research and pull up right now if you wanted to. And I'm thinking about doing it. Unless they sealed the case like Tiffany Haddish, somebody else who took a picture with Jaguar, right? Who cares? Nigga, I, I, I get in Drake's VIP hookah lounge. I don't need to go nowhere else in the fucking city. In the city. I don't need to make no more friends, no more security guards, no more workers at these top spots. Want me to tell you why? Because I've done it. One place, hookah lounge, billionaires. I get invited to Nobu. I get invited to Chateau. I get in private to fucking private islands with none but billionaires on them. That's a whole freaking city. And I'm like, oh, no, thank you. Because guess what? I'm up in the value. That's what Jag wants to do, but she don't know how to do it genuinely. She don't want to lead with her talent or exercise her talent and craft. Nobody would never remember you for saying. Jag wants to put herself in a situation where she get fucked up real bad and real nasty. Her family don't love her family ain't proud of. The mom and the sister. I got all of her people. I can call her whole family right now. And then... Again, she's gonna de she demonize her family. She'll say that we all hate her. All, her whole family is in my phone. That's how much her family identified with me trying to help her. So again, if y'all want to say Jag is a truth teller, somebody who take public facts and speculation and intertwine it with a one picture or one experience in Hollywood from 25 years ago, then we living in a sad world. Next thing I know, Jag probably is going to file her own lawsuit saying what Diddy did to her. Hoping that it stick. 
hoping that it's thick because he locked up. And mind you, she's been itching for somebody to sue her so that she can feel relevant. After all, Tasha K got relevancy after celebrity sued her. So Jag wants to emulate that too. Jag sat on Pierce Morgan and said, Sean Carter, you now have no choice but to respond. That was extreme malice. That means that you've been trying to pick and poke at him and trying to get him to respond. You done took the fact that people that said and speculated that Jay-Z met with a divorce attorney. Yeah, I see you over there listening to Nosy Ho. I see you listening to Tiss the Tale. And you take all of these public narratives and play with people on the internet and brainwash and condition. And for that, let me tell you something. I see it clear as day. I am not interested in mis misleading people for no click and view. I am not interested in being attacked because I'm telling the truth. So I, I'd rather just leave and exit because there's a lot of shit going on. I can make money doing other things. But to put my name in the middle of some shit and to attack my character like you're going to do anything to my platform, like you even rank anywhere amongst me because you want to cop a deuce to get clicks and views off of Jag because it's convenient for you now. But the last we heard, you you was calling the police to put her in jail, stalking her. Last we heard, you went on platforms, you went on Sharia World saying that you as a whole black man, excuse me, you biracial and you look like a wetback, that you entitled to the money just to feed your baby, your hungry ass baby and your ugly ass wife, nigga. And let's be clear, why you sitting up there capping for Jaguar, right, bitch? Jaguar Wright is the same person who said that your motherfucking wife looked like a porch monkey. Okay, niggas ain't seen nothing but white eyes and teeth in the broad fucking daylight. Jaguar Wright says your wife scared her. She jumped. I ain't never seen Jaguar Wright scared like that. Shit. She jumped as if Rick Ross went over to her and said, oh, that bitch jumped when she seen your wife. Because she that ugly. And ain't no love in there. So ain't no needs for you showing no pictures and showing me and my thing hanging out on your thumbnail and stuff. Boy, you gay. Oh, Lord. Niggas don't give a fuck about what you saying. And bitches ain't hearing that shit. You showed all them bitches over there my dick, nigga. Because you want some. Yes, now he pra praising her. Like, like, it's like, this, like, don't listen. If, if it's your plan and your line of content, to lure Jag to your platform. Listen, sir, that smoke and that beef and shit, that was last week. I don't feel like playing with you. You was defeated and your God and your leader was defeated. I don't feel like playing with y'all no more. Find something else to do, bitch. I don't want to talk about Jag. I don't give a damn. You don't give a damn. We don't give a fuck. I don't. Jag is a bald-headed liar and I stand on that. And there's millions and millions and millions of people that will never see or hear my voice say the truth. And there's millions and millions of people that even if they heard me, they're going to say that I'm lying and I'm the bad guy and that I'm working for Diddy and that I hate women. That's what they're going to say. I don't feel like being in that situation. So you ain't got to use me to get your numbers up or nothing like that. Because it's, it's, it's just this JAG narrative and the JAG content, it's, it's just not going to work for me. It's not. It's not. She don't. She, she come over here. It's a different type of truth that she has to deal with, and she don't want to deal with it because we ask for proof and facts. See, Jonathan Odi in his interview, he said he slept with Diddy and Cassie. That was an allegation until Cassie confirmed it in the lawsuit. So that man had facts, and I guess this is what she wants to do. She wants to be Nostradamus. She wants to say I said it first and it came true. Bitch, you say a million and one things. All of which is very broad, very broad, and then you hope for some of that shit to stick. Okay, Jag is a headache, is what the fuck she is. Like you know, and Jonathan had a lawsuit. That was another fact. Jonathan had a lawsuit, so we didn't even need Cassie to come out and file a lawsuit. Fucking with Jonathan Odie, all we needed to do was look at the lawsuit, look at the defendants, and look at the settlement. Damn, he was telling the truth. We didn't need Cassidy to come out. So if anything, Jonathan Odie was the first truth teller. Actual proof. Actual proof. Wendy Williams was saying some things. 
She never showed the receipts. Baby Dookie voice. So I guess Jack feel like because Wendy said some things and, re and rarely, hardly ever show receipts, she don't. Jag, why right? I got the tapes. You got a you got a licensed attorney right there on Pierce Morgan's correct. And you, you think that lady don't know that you're crazy and cuckoo and all the shit that you done said around the internet. That that professional attorney, she drug you for filth and you too dumb to even comprehend it. Thank you. LOL, but if she knew what Diddy was doing, why didn't she alert the police when it was happening? Exactly. Now, everybody say when you're a victim, victims stay silent and give victims all these reasons and all these, this justification as to why they don't come out. Oh, we got to believe the victim when they first come out as hard. Jag never said she was a victim. She said she was a dominatrix. And she said she was around when all of this stuff happened. And now she's saying that She's doing it for the victims. No, that sounds like a grip. But you are a communal narcissist taking public facts, taking public empathy, and trying to convert it into money for yourself. That's what I see. But again, I'm only one person in his millions of people that are not going to see what I'm saying, that are not going to understand what I'm saying, that are just not going to be invested in the truth. The truth of the matter is Jaguar Wright is a pathological liar. She's taking public facts, public speculation, and trying to bridge herself with it as if she's an actor or an actress who can't snap out of character. <sighs> So, um, let me get to this and try to, and this is for like, the internet is not a place for thinking y'all. It, it really ain't. It really ain't. And the more somebody try to tell you something to get you thinking, the, the, the most harmful is going to be to them. But again, I am not interested in talking about Jack because it's not the narrative. It's not the popular narrative, period. Ray J did the same thing to be fabulous and threatened to have him S.A. by man. Ray J would do anything for clout. He just tried to, he just got beat up, punched in the mouth by Linnell Palmer, the skinniest little nigga. Ending game. Cause he won't, and he wished that Tronis Network was like Zeus Network. You should have been thought of it. You helped build Zeus Network. When they was building, you should have took Masika and Hazel E and put that shit on your network. Because that's what really turned me on to it then. You knew Sean Diddy Combs for a long time. You attended a number of his infamous parties. Um, and in 2020... And you see, Jaguar Wright is a liar. Pierce Morgan is a beta man. You know, he's not an Alex Jones, a Tucker Carson... You know, Eli, he's not he's not a sophisticated, critical thinking man. He's a beta. He's kind of like the same beta Kamala Harris's husband is. Somebody that can just get ran all over. So it seems to me like Pierce Morgan was prepped or had information and belief that Jag is going around saying she was at Diddy parties. And we have never seen any of this proof ever. She look crazy as all out those with a big ass grapefruit head. Again, this my I'm not gonna be talking about this again. Leave me out your thumbnails, leave me out your shit. If y'all wanna say that Jag Wide Right is a time traveler and she touched the moon, but let, let me tell you something. I'm not gonna give no commentary on it. That's how serious I am. This hoe is a sucker bitch. She wanna suck up all the content creators, intellect, all the all the that's why. I, that's why I'm not passionate talking about Diddy because I know she lying and I know she want to feel like a pioneer and I just don't respect her. Okay. Um, you've been called a whistleblower. Um, you knew Sean Diddy Combs for a long time. How? How? You knew Sean Diddy Combs for a long time. Pierce, you done brainwashed your audience. You didn't help bolster a narrative for her, sir. You didn't let her say that. You said it out your own mouth. And Jack, so schizophrenic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Pierce Morgan. I got the white people. I was there. Yes, I was. I don't even have to prove it or disapprove it because Pierce Morgan just said it. Ended a number of his infamous parties. When? Where? 
when and where. Because when you came out on the blue couch with them pajamas on, where they fucked the shit out you on that blue couch before you went live, talking about the Tusi. Oh, the Tusi. I had to call my drug guy, and this is what it is. It's the gay cocktail. You never said you seen it. Never said you did. Like, what, what are you talking about? Um, and in 2022, you made headlines of the comments uh, where you called him a sex trafficker. Uh, and in response, you were called crazy and jealous. Uh, do you feel vindicated yes. by the events of the last few weeks? No, not at all. Um, I... Because he's just the beginning. Until him and his cohorts are all held to account publicly and legally, the victims, they're not safe. And she's saying cohorts and the victims and the trap, like, okay, so... You got you to land this somewhere and some facts, okay? Your fact cannot be a conspiracy, a conspiracy, literally. She's stringing all these men together like they're a part of this big conspiracy. She sounds like a conspiracy theorist, okay? If she would have went any further, the Illuminati would have came out of her mouth. How how bad was That's it? That's what I care about. I care about the victims. No, I understand. How bad was it, you think? You care about the victims. You was at the Diddy parties to see the victims, according to what you're saying today and what you want people to believe, that you was there, you seen the victims. Huh? You was you was too busy going to jail, going to the mental health hospital. And instead of saying this, you didn't say this on Storm and Road platform. That's who got all your all your initial statements. But I guess he needed a click in the view, too. I guess when he lashed out on you and the numbers was dropping, the view, the likes and stuff, he had to go back and tuck his tail. So he's not going to go against this stuff, even though he know you're lying. You care about the victims. Man, what? Did you go and file a police report or were you too scared? At what time? You say when around Gene did was Puffy bodyguard around that time. Y'all both sat on the blue couch like y'all was getting high together and then fuck. And you stipulated that he would go back to his platform to bolster your statements to act like you're legit. Gene Dill ain't never said you was around Sean Diddy. You was always targeting and focused on Jay-Z. And he couldn't substantiate none of what you were saying. You was just saying general stuff. Just like reading the Bible. Somebody read the Bible to me my, I'm going to go, shit, when somebody reading the Bible to me, I think about Dragon Ball Z. A whole cartoon be in my head trying to interpret it. So you say these broad statements that people have their own interpretation of it. Of. And if anybody point out that, hey, these are not actual facts, because they because you say things such broad, these people are going with their own intellect and their own belief about whatever you're talking about. You you throw a whole thing, a whole canvas out there and say, fill in the lines. That's what you do to people. And so when I come through, people are disrupted because I'm telling them that, hey, this is a this is a this is a blank cuckoo canvas she's giving you. She's telling you to paint the picture for her. That's this is not who you listen to. This is not facts. This is too general, generic. What was going on? I'm going to tell you right now that me, as a woman who has been in the industry for over 30 years, <laughs> um, I've been performing now live since I was 13. Here. There's no vindication for me mm. because for four years, I've been screaming, not just Diddy, but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters. And mind you, she demonized any man that let her go. Don't fuck with him. She, she, she screwed on a punk named Sam and she knew he was a punk. And to this day, she will be acting like she's so in love with the person that she with right now on YouTube. But then she'll go and tell up a Ralph Lauren store and, and, and have an episode and tell the people to tell she's looking for Sam. He works in the corporate office and tell him I came here and I did it. Tearing the people store up, trying to get the man fired from his job when he left her alone 20 plus years ago. She got another husband named Goomba. That's her actual husband. 
he's running around YouTube moderating for trolls and 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 invisible fonts and stuff just to get some groceries, saying he's scared that Jackie gonna unalive him. Like literally, this lady is psycho. And like I said, after this, bitch, I don't give a fuck if Jack if Jack by right get to sit with Elon Musk, bitch. I am not saying nothing. If y'all want to believe it, y'all can believe it. And the victim-making machine kept going on. Jay-Z has been notable by his silence since uh, these charges were brought against Diddy. Why do you think that is? Because... That's a lie. That's not a fact. It's a fact that Jay-Z and Beyonce are extremely quiet and private in general. Way before this came out. Like this, this is harmful reporting. Y'all act like Jay Z was out here acting like Diddy, like he twenty one, the life of the party. Nigga, Jay Z is silent, and been Jay Z been playing behind the game scene since the fucking mid nineties. Always have. What are you talking about? But people that don't think critical. Yep, he he Beyonce been silent. She's triggering your brain because. You want a response from Jay-Z and Beyonce, you never get it. No matter what it is, you never get a response from Jay-Z and Beyonce. And your desire from when you was a child, from involving Diddy or whatever, you want to hear from Jay-Z and Beyonce. So I'm going to believe Jaguar and push that narrative because at the end of the day, people just want a response. That's what it is. People just want a response. And you can't get it that's what he does that changes now Sean you must respond you have no choice Harvey Wine it is you, you have no choice you must respond Sean she's been trying to get somebody to respond to her for years people do not want their name attached to her that's it that's it like I hate when people feel like she must be telling the truth because Diddy didn't sue her or Diddy didn't come back with it. You know, first time I got doxxed on YouTube, I was like, okay, these motherfuckers playing. I done been through this shit on Clubhouse. You can't say nothing about me that I can't stand on, that I don't know the truth about. You can say this and this, the brainwash the people. I was The first time it happened on YouTube, I said to myself, I said, I'm not even finna respond to this. I was like, when this bitch get through, I'm gonna respond. But guess what? Because that was my mentality and the people wanted a response immediately and because I didn't respond to it, they all thought it was true. When I was like, I'm just not finna respond to this shit. This don't make me no money. And, and then when it comes, so so what I learned when it comes to YouTube, when it comes to TikTok, people want to be fed with entertainment and fed with responses and reactions because they want to feel like they have some proximity to you. So when it comes to the internet, you have to respond because if you don't and you let that shit fly, it don't matter. If the more people see it and you let that shit fly, that's going to become the narrative. And that's the controlling fact. And I had to run, I had to figure out how to break away from that because I didn't understand the game was if you don't reply right then and there, it must be true. So because she's been going around for four years saying the same shit, hogging up people platforms and shit, people are under this impression that it must be true. See, Jack, I had somebody from her family come up to my platform before, a live stream on my channel, The Did Not Show. Her cousin specifically said, Jag's been hot in the streets and, she, and he fears for her life. She's crazy and she wanted to be unalived by police. That's around the time she kept going to the mayor's office in D.C. and threatening them and at the Chicago airport telling TSA she can't wait to get back to her pow pow. I think Jag wants, if something happened to Jag right now, everybody's going to blame Jay-Z and that's going to be her history. Jag just wants attention. Jag wants to be famous. Jag wants to go down in history. Jag wants to be talked about forever and ever and ever and ever. That's how bad and thirsty she is for fame. Okay, she's willing to sacrifice her life here so that she can be listed as a great.
She sacrificed and threw away her own family because her family was like, we know you're lying. What are you talking about? At this time, when Jay, her own family came to my platform, when Jay-Z was this and this, this is where you were and this is what you was doing. Why are you lying? Her own family. These are the people that grew up with her. Not just her son who did an interview on Sean David Wade, Tasha K. Her sister, her nieces, her nephew, her own mother said that she's lying about all of this stuff. And so y'all want to demonize me. That means you might as well demonize her family too. See, when you start listening to people, you got to get your autobiography correct. You got to know who they come, who they are and what they come from. But she can't even go back to Philly. She didn't sat on the real life and told lies on Will and Jada, and they said they're going to scap her if she come to Philly. Oh, Lord. Bitch couldn't even go to her own mama's funeral. And still would tell you she don't believe her mama's dead. Okay? So, again, like, leave me out your thumbnails. You're not going to get more clicks and views than me. You're not going to control no narrative about me. Um, I don't really have no interest in talking about Jag. Okay? I don't. I don't give a damn. The people that care about clicks and views, the people that want... No, there's many millions of ways to grow, especially in a healthy way. I don't want to be introduced to a mainstream audience on YouTube cussing out Jag and telling y'all that Jag is a liar, a bald-headed liar, and that is she is. And Steen. Thank you. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein. Robert Kelly. Sean Combs have one person in common professionally and privately. Sean Carter. This has been a fist of tyranny that has been punching through. And it's like she rehearses all of these people in Sean Carter. Again, this is why Hollywood is scared because a crazy cuckoo bird can come up Ashton Kutcher. All of these people are tied together. It's a, it's a, Hollywood is like a cabal, pretty much. Everybody has affiliation with all these people. And here she come. Okay. Said, I'm scared. I'm at, I'm at the hookah lounge. I'm chilling at the hookah lounge. You don't know who going to walk in there. Next thing you know, I'm chilling and they walk in. Now you naming me instead. And I ain't got nothing to do with it. People that came out and said, they don't even know some of these ladies and these women Never even met them that's filing these lawsuits. But again, these are women speaking against black men. So I guess we're going to believe them, right? Anyways. Our culture and our society for decades, it must stop. Diddy, which if he's found guilty of all this, he's never coming out of prison. How dangerous do you think... Thank God. How dangerous do you think he is as a person? I think he's one of the most dangerous people I've ever met. A lot of people have been questioning, well, she doesn't really know him. She has no knowledge of him. She doesn't have a picture with him. I'm smarter than Claudia Jordan. I would never take a picture with the devil. Okay, I'm, I'm smarter than Claudia Jordan. I would never take... She's lying. And then she's re She's using this big platform to ignite and, and, and reinforce a beef with Claudia Jordan. She's messy as hell. And she tied that to Claudia Jordan because the public knowledge is Claudia Jordan was friends with Kathy White and knows exactly what Jay-Z did to Kathy White. And Claudia Jordan has refuted that. There's been no investigation or anything other than a picture and other than people talking about it online. How can you take us serious? Huh? Everyone mentioned it, Jack. Yes, I've seen it. And guess what? Everybody can mention Jag as much as they want. But the simple fact of the matter is, and this is the disappointing part about it. I know her whole family. Let me see. They probably watching me right now. Yeah, she need to, at this point, she need to be sued. She didn't tap into the white folks. So many people. 
But again, she didn't do it through her talent. She did it through hearsay, gossip, and defamation. That's not genuine. Please leave your message. Okay, let me see. Please leave your message for. Okay. Well, I'd be randomly calling people, hoping they pick up. And they probably, like I said, they probably watching right now. So it's just like Jag has, has used Pierce Morgan, has used content creators. Uh, it is work hours now. She's used Pierce Morgan, content creators, the, the mainstream media, YouTube bloggers, conspiracy theories to monopolize and intrinsically tie her name to Jay-Z and Diddy, even though them people have... Like, Rick Ross just took a picture with her. Now, what's she going to be talking? Watch this. Okay? You're going to see? She's going to be repeating everything Jonathan Odie said. Soon as she get mad at Rick Ross, oh, I see you in that tape. Same thing she did to the Star Report. Soon as she got mad and realized that man didn't give a fuck about, you know, your connection to his best friend, you weren't going to control his platform. Right. Ricky's did his best, the LOL. Exactly. And she took a picture with him. So listen, at the end of the day, I wish motherfuckers would want more talent and less clout. Jaguar Wright is a clout chaser at this point, at this point in time. And at this point, it feels like she has ascended, and I'm not finna waste my time trying to get y'all, if in, anybody believe in Jag, anybody, even my white friends in my real life and shit, let me tell y'all something. Y'all are not as smart as y'all think y'all are. Okay? You doing your own research and stringing together, because she even got MAGA supporters standing behind her, because you know them the real conspiracy theories. Devil. Everyone knew he was the devil. He's been the devil for 30 years. He's been covered and protected by not only Clive Davis, but Lucian Grange. She don't know neither one of these people. She never mentioned these people, especially Lucian Grange. She again, another public grift. Another public grift. You naming Lucian Grange because he was naming a lawsuit. That man trying to wash that out of history. And you done sat up here on this platform and name him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if Pierce Morgan be out there in the, in the, in the ocean. Exactly. Jag said she was a dominatrix at the party. That's what I'm saying. That's all Pierce Morgan had to do was inquire about these facts. Yeah, you said you've been to Diddy parties. I'd have let her talk and say yes and yes. And okay, and, and on this day and in this fit, you said that you was a dominatrix at the parties. Cloud over with. So Jag creates this immaculate echo chamber around her. And if you're not going with the echo chamber, she will turn on you. Okay. All it took was him to ask a question. Ain't nobody asking questions. Ray J, she don't want to interview with you. You're going to ask too many questions. You're going to blow her cover. I feel like she is going to have a rude awakening because when people find out the truth that she is a fraud, the entire internet will turn on her. Now that, see, Tiffany... I don't like, like the thing about it is that's the sad reality because that reality right there is the truth. And I would hate for people to look at me now that they're praising her and I'm standing on 10 that she's capping. People looking at me like Jag is telling the truth. You just wait and watch and see. Like I said, they think she's literally like Nostradamus or some shit. Literally. Because I can't compete with Nostradamus. I'm still reading it. You know, I was reading Nostradamus and they were talking about a, a man coming through a cornfield and shit. I'm like, damn. This is why they be making a movie. Uh, Nostradamus? Jack has some immaculate gaslighting motherfucking skills. Okay, at this point, it's a talent. 
I think media is really trying to get rid of Jay-Z and Diddy completely, and they don't care who speaks on them as long as it fits the narrative they push. That's crazy. And that could be a true, that could be the truth too. Is that a big like on her head? Hit the like, but yes, that's a big like. And you know, she's so crazy. She probably put some oil or some shit like that on that like button on her head so people can like her. Hey, what's up, China? What's up? What's up? Like, come on. Niggas don't give a fuck. And the thing, Jag, Jag do love the attention. I was with Jag. I seen it. I seen it. See, I'm the type of motherfucker that I'm like Denzel Washington. Let me do my work, bitch. I ain't coming to no parties. I don't like nobody. I don't like people. If 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 me and you, if if me and you ain't talking business, what the fuck? Oh fucking, what the fuck is you in my face for type of shit, bitch? I don't need. Don't call me. You don't text. But I'm good. I hit you up when. Let me know when it's next time to do some work, type of shit. With when it comes to Hollywood, why well, do everything with intention and purpose? I'm not just chilling at Drake's hookah spot. I'm chilling at Drake's hookah spot to expand my network. Now I'm about to start golfing, surfing, and doing all this shit. Because you network. And you connect with people who are experts or who do those things as hobbies. That's how you network. I network. I build community through hobbies. That's what I do. See, Jag build community through lying and grifting and her need to survive. Her need to eat. Her need for a new hotel room. Her need for money. Her need for attention. Okay? So. He was selected to be the demon that he is to keep the culture in line so the industry could continue to rape it for all of its precious jewels. We have too many lost the list of lost is ridiculous. And everyone knows Diddy was selected for this job. He's the Judas. Do you think that if he's cornered in the way that he's been now, that he may start revealing? How does that make sense? He's the Judas. If this entire system is satanic, according to what you're saying and evil, then won't that mean that they are all Judases? And that the power structure of who God is and the disciples is hitting behind closed doors. Yes, yeah, she's the Judas. She literally is the Judas. Jay-Z gave you an opportunity to make money and then an album. You don't own it, but you was allowed to tour off of that and make money across seas once upon a time before everybody found out you was crazy. The last show that you were supposed to do, you went off on your husband and tore the band apart and everybody just left you. Somebody said that white man needs to be canceled. He is already canceled. Pierce Morgan gained his brand and likeness from doing commentary on CNN. Now he's just on YouTube like the rest of us. Okay. Feeling things about other people. He has no choice. His ego and his drug addiction won't allow him to do anything different but you never talked about drug addiction until you see that in the reports and stuff i don't remember you saying diddy was a crazy drug head and doing all these other stuff and like lady you just are a, a fucking liar pathological liar she's so traumatized from getting well <laughs> she's she's a liar anybody who thinks he's not gonna talk is crazy Listen, listen, listen. Yoli, one and only, you said as long as she benefited, she was all right with the mess that was going on. Sweetheart, that would be true if only she was in the picture at all. She wasn't there. She wasn't. She built like a fucking sack of laundry. You think she was there? Don't nobody want her. Talking about she was a dominatrix over at Diddy. Like she was a stud with a come on man, they would have beat her to sleep. <laughs> they said you you hogging up all the pee and the, and the booty. They would have beat her to sleep. 
Don't nobody want no bullet acting like that. Jag, like a ride up. Ah! Oh, Lord. Better go get you some cats. And her, and her, 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 uh, her muster cemetery. Really, it is. He's got everybody on tape. They all know it. And y'all see when she do all of that? Like, you hide your mind. I can't believe she took these blue couch antics to Pierce Morgan and got all these white people inquiring who she is. For those who were never at these freak-off parties, what were they like? See, this is the thing. Uh-uh, uh-uh. He asked you. That was the first question he asked you. Uh-uh. He said, what was their, they like? What was they like? Because if you had any facts, you would be able to describe the location, the date, what did the room look like? Who was there? See, this is the thing. He asked you one question, and now you explaining something to de derail. I bet she don't explain the freak out part. Watch this. Everything that I'm about to say to you is not my firsthand knowledge. It is my. So when he started, he said you was at the freak offs. And now when he asked you about it, it's not firsthand knowledge. Who are these? Who are these people? Sweetheart, you got an open case for calling doing a bomb threat at the VA in Texas. <laughs> so now you talking to these bitch, you talking to, um, you know who, who she talking to. I feel bad for her because she been getting fucked and having babies since she was 14. I think she lost her soul when she was, uh, you know, <laughs> five nights at Freddy or some shit like this. My firsthand witness account experience. I was a sex worker. I was a dominatrix before I got my record deal. Child, please. She said she was this uh, before she got her record deal. Lady, how you going to be a dominatrix when you stayed pregnant by the time you was 14? And then you from Philly, they told you don't go to the hood. Your sister told me a story about how one of your babies got beat out of you because you was sleeping with a grown drug dealer that had a wife. And that lady beat the baby out of you. You had an abortion right there in the streets. So I'm so sorry. Trigger warning. The lady beat up so bad she had a stillbirth before the ambulance got there. Shelly said the cord and everything was hanging down. So how was you able to dominatrix and somebody beat a whole baby out of you? And that's violent, y'all. That's <laughs> oh my god, jagged character off the wires. <laughs> <laughs> yes she is oh that's how I know how the dark world and the sex world and the entertainment world run hand in hand look at it she looked down and look and look how she look how she wrapped this fact around bitch then I told you she had a five nights of Freddy cartoon coming in her, her head when she be telling these stories she said, this is the dark industry and this is how it do. And then, just like a classic conspiracy theater theories, this motherfucker pick up the lighter from Blink twice, which was a movie about this billionaire trafficking these girls over to an island and getting them hooked on some that we would consider peak cocaine to where they would traumatize them and, and grape them and everything. Then the next morning, they won't remember anything. So that's what that's the significance of this lighter. That's the significance of this lighter. So pretty much when she showed this lighter, she showed y'all that she got a movie going on in her head, bitch. <laughs> got my record deal. Look, look. That's how I know how the dark world and the and then this shit was so planned, so scripted. She didn't dig it. We didn't see her dig in her purse if she got one. Because she, you know, we ain't see her dig in her purse in her pocket, get up, readjust herself. She had the light on her like she knew that the interview would wrap around this time and she would be able to show the lighter from Blink twice, child. Oh, 
don't know oh, oh. the sex world and the entertainment world run hand in hand. That's why the movie Blink Twice is so important. That's why the movie Blink Twice is so important. Bitch, if they don't have your ass on Saturday Night Live, I don't, you know what? I can't wait to Kaya get you. Salute to Zoe Kravitz. <laughs> the sex workers that I have worked with throughout the years <laughs> and continue to work with, even to this day, have worn hidden cameras. I have my own tapes. Uh oh, so she says she has her own tapes. This can be a win for Diddy. And Jay-Z. We know she's lying. She sat up here in front of this TikTok got 4.1 million views. YouTube got me. She's been exposed to at least 20 million people that heard her say she has her own tapes. So now everybody, oh, Jag, we got to go to Jag. She got them tapes. Oh, no. Oh, no. You didn't say you was a victim that could be on tapes. The FBI didn't knock on the door and say, Jag. Uh, we seen a bitch that's built like a lunchbox with no ass. You know, bitches with no ass and big backs talk all the shit and tell everything, right? We they didn't see that. They didn't see that on the tapes. But I mean, you know what? Maybe when they seen Carl Winslow, they thought it was Jag since she want to put herself there. He said he wasn't there. Oh. <laughs> okay, ain't nobody contact you. You just said you got your own tape, sweetheart, in front of twenty plus millions of people in the past 24 hours. You said you have your own tapes. We need you to compel it. Cause that's, if you, that because if I didn't know you, if I didn't know you was a bald headed liar, I would believe everything that you said, banking on the fact that you said you got your own motherfucking tapes. Do we not want to see the tapes? They say the feds got all Diddy tapes, and I say we the people got the right to the freak off tapes. Jack, where, where's your Diddy tapes? Where's your Diddy tapes? I mean, this is her saying this shit, just like she said she got released from a mental health hospital on the APAL, that she, her, she didn't take her medicine, and that they prescribed her lithium. These are her words. Where are the tape? Put a one in the chat if you want to see the tapes. I want to see the tapes. I didn't I, listen. I done fed Jack, done talked to Jack over the phone in person. I ain't never heard her say she got tapes. Jack ain't got no motherfucking tape. Jag is homeless. And wh whoever and wherever she fucking at, that's where she laying her head at. Jag so homeless. She where the tape said. Oh, I know what she's going to say. I know what she's going to say. She's going to say that the tapes was in the U-Haul that they took in Shreveport and they got all her property and won't release it because Jay-Z and Diddy told them to do it. That's what she's going to say. I swear to God, that's just how she operates. I had the tapes, but they were in the U-Haul and they even, and Jay-Z and Diddy even got me out on a felony theft charge for stealing the U-Haul when all the tapes was in the U-Haul. Uh-huh. <laughs> I swear to God, that's just what she gonna say. And the thing is, she listening right now. I'm the only one that can clock her on what she about to say and stop her. Now that she's listening, like she listened to all of my rhetoric and went on the blue couch to mention it. Are you gonna say the same thing that I said that you're gonna say? Because see, I Jag is crazy. She go with and attach herself to any idea, bitch. Any idea that you can attach yourself to for why you cannot compare these tapes, bitch, I'm going to pinpoint it. And then on top of that, you had a, you got a husband that you still married to on the internet that know you lying. He going to pop up to make his money so he ain't got to go to the bathhouse to get fucked in his ass oh. so he can make him some money off the internet because you're lying. Where's these tapes, Jay? Where are these tapes? I bet she had a recorder on, on, on Rick Ross, too. Where the tapes say? She said, listen, I'm interested now. She, I'm sold. I am totally sold on the tapes. Come on over, Jack. Come on over here. 
I'm t- I'm sold on the t- at a Diddy party, Jay. That you know for a fact. That's what I want to know. Okay, so is that I have worked with throughout the years and continue to work with even to this day have worn hidden cameras. So she was working with people that she continued to work with to this day that had hidden cameras and stuff. And then no, Rick Ross, Rick Ross was in the building because he finna scap your goddamn ass because Jonathan Ode Ben said he on some tape. We want the tapes. I have my own tapes. I have my own tapes. I want the tapes. <laughs> she lied, but it turning on me, say I'm working for Diddy and I'm on a Diddy tape. She liable to say everybody on the Diddy tape. Where the tape at? Yeah, where, where the tape at, Jag? Jag is the knot. You remember when you was broke and hungry, begging for boxes of Popeye's chicken so that you can lube your, you know, you're, you're Jag, this is the knot. The one that protected you. The one that told people to stop picking on and harassing and bullying you because you got mental health issues. The one that uh, re- help you raise money. The one that told my supporters who didn't like you to send you money because you was homeless and they hated me for it because they knew they shouldn't have never did it. The one that every time things got too hot for you, I created a live stream and a platform for you to hit reset. It's the not, Jag. Come on out the bushes, Jag. Then you just hit my link. Then she hit my link. Uh, uh, what was that? A week or two ago. Y'all remember when Jack came up to my platform? I'm giving you one chance to apologize before you named in the lawsuit, bitch. They ain't even got enough paper for you to write all the defendants who you plan on suing. Cause you done told the whole internet you gonna sue them for what? You done said you gonna sue your own son for telling his truth about you. Come on, Jack. You know you love me. Come on, Jack. You know I know you like... You know I fucking know your crazy ass. Where you at, Jack? They Oh, you might not hit the knot link. Where you at, Jack? You gonna need a place to run somewhere. Because they finna drag you. You think the robot bad, bitch. Them crackers finna drag the fuck out of you. Where the tape set, Jack? A lawyer got on TV and pretty much said she know you lying and you better go get a, a, an attorney. She didn't say, oh, I want to represent you. That lawyer said she got tapes and she seen the tape. That lawyer probably would never compare that tape because she probably was lying. And here you go as a regular defendant saying you got tapes. Oh, no, bitch. If I was Jay-Z and Diddy, I would sue your ass and say that you're going around saying you got tapes and you own tape and it's a lie, bitch. I would use you to restore my, 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 my fucking good grace. That's what I would do. Should, should focus on the music instead of being an industry mammy. Listen, the voice is gone. She didn't smoke. She, she smoked a pack of Newports today. She tell too many lies. You know when your vo- your voice is real good and clear when you when you when you're living in harmony with God and angelic. She don't do no exercise. She don't sing from the diaphragm. Nothing. She don't know how to sing. It probably sound a little good and remind you of how she used to sing, but she too big and out of shape. You know. You can be big and in shape like Lizzo and still pop a tune, but she don't have the di- she don't have the skills. She don't have no skills behind her wannabe craft. She feel like she can just wake up without brushing her teeth, without dinner work, without anything, and just sing a song like she's this big star. Jag is not the same Jag she was. Okay, she wants you to believe that it's not true. Okay, paid to harm the case. Somebody said paid to harm the case. How am I paid to horn the case? Jag just told the whole world, over 20 million people, that she got her own tapes. All these lawyers ain't contacting her to represent her. She's just she she's the only person in real life besides, and when Larod, Larod said he got irrefutable evidence of a hundred plus video hours footage turned over to the feds, filed. 
in a civil complaint with Chris Brown, Meek Mill, all of them with underage girls. That's what Lil Rod has. He didn't come out here and say, I got the tapes. He filed the lawsuit, bitch, and turned that shit over before he came out publicly. So you put a target on your back. You said you got the tapes. When Jonathan Odi said Rick Ross was on some of them tapes, that's why that nigga was right over there. Same nigga that's sitting there smiling next to you, best friends with Diddy and Jay-Z, I might add. You see Meek Mill tight with Jay-Z. Meek Mill answered to Rick Ross. You think Rick Ross there? Rick Ross there to scope you out to see what kind of niggas you got around you. So if and when they get to take your motherfucking ass out, no face, no case. That's what it's given. I've seen what they do, the ritualistic behaviors, the drugging. You seen, she said, I have my own tapes and I've seen what they do. Where are your facts? Facts. Facts. Where are your facts, sweetheart? A fact is something you can prove. Uh, a fact. Do you know what a fact is, Jaguar, right? Because clearly you don't. A fact means the date, the time, the location, the place. And these are these, this is, these are two billionaires you're talking about. That has accounting, that has bank records and transactions, that has private jets that can be all over and everywhere. We need the facts. The, your facts versus they facts. Was it December in January? What date, what time, what city, what place? And then they can pull up a fact and say, oh, bitch, at that time I was on the jet. Or I was in this city. You were nowhere around. These are facts. So y'all believe her, but she has no facts. Fact, person, place, thing, time. Can you, can you please give me a specific fact? These are these are boilerplate allegations. See, this is what I'm. So, how can I be working for? I want to help you, bitch. We want all the tea. The same way we want them tapes, we want all the facts. We want all the details. What date and what? To, she, like I said, she's built this cult like mentality around her bullshit because the niggas that she go to. Like the storm arose in the real life, they have missed those, those platforms should be taken down. Storm and row in real life. Where are the facts? That's a harmful conspiracy. That's what I'm like. I say one little thing about you know Pizza Gate or some, then literally I say two things. Harmful conspiracy community strike. What? Everything about her is a harmful conspiracy. Where are your facts? You you said you seen it. You said you seen it. You said you was a dominatrix. You said you had videotapes. This is the information that she put out there. Why does it take me to trigger you to critically think about the information that you're consuming? This is like, I, I feel like we in a fucking stimulated reality. That's what it is. And people are expecting that to be okay. This is very dangerous. It used to only be TikTok, but now it's YouTube too. And more people watch and consume YouTube than television. Where are your facts, sweetheart? Putting girls in the suitcases. You said you seen that? What date, what time? You do it for the victims? Why you stop it? Did you file a police report? Where are your facts? Crazy. Dumping them in alleyways. Dumping them in alleyways. So you seen all of this, Jag. Bitch, you need to get hit with a Rico too. If you see... <laughs> if you see all of this, why you ain't in jail? Huh? <laughs> it's, it's, it's horrifying. And it's all done under the protection <laughs> of this is going to be paid off. There's another NDA. This is going to be, it's terrible. Then how come everybody on NDAs but you? 
Bitch, if you was there, that you should have a mountain, a mountain full of NDAs with all the shit that you say. And look at the people in the chat on on, on, on this video. Look at all these people. Lord, help. ain't no fucking help for humanity. If if a bald headed liar like Jack Wild Wright can come out and deceive y'all, God, I, God just need to flood the earth and get that shit over with again. Or whatever the fuck gonna happen. I'm willing to die to testify, whatever I got to do. Cause y'all, like humanity is getting stupider and stupider and stupider. These are grown folks listening to this, pushing this on to the next generation. The shit Jay saying and doing ain't no different from the motherfucker rewriting the history book and saying slaves was a paid sharecropper. And that's what your kids gonna believe. So Jag, why write a pioneer? Sitting there looking like she smelled like mop water. Better yet, her pussy smell like dumpster juice. But look at all these people. Look at all these people in the chat. God protect this lady. Please and all other brave souls that come forward, girl. She must be protected at all costs. <laughs> I've never seen Pierce Morgan so quiet during an interview because he knew she was lying. Honestly, I'm kind of like worried for her because she definitely has receipts. What receipts, Felicia, girl? What receipts? She ain't got nail receipt. Not nail, not nail. What receipt? This woman is a queen. This woman has been speaking on Diddy for years and no one believed her. Boilerplate. And she just adding to it. All you remember, she's been speaking on Diddy for years. Now, if you go, if you go back and listen to what she said, you will hear contradictory all over the place. Jag just wake up dead set online to somebody every single day. Okay, so CHK. All right, yesterday when I ended my video, I was like, I seen some of your message and up and answer this question. You said, okay, for years, she's talked about Diddy, Jay-Z, Beyonce. Why hasn't anyone sued her for defamation? People talk, 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 talk. OK, people got PR press release and teams surrounding them. They know the game just like I know the game. People going to talk good, bad, crazy and different. Motherfuckers have come out and said Jag is crazy. Why would you waste your time suing somebody who has everything to benefit from you suing them? I think now he should sue, given the fact that she's crossed over to prominent a, a platform uh, with Pierce Morgan, who has built his reputation from CNN, now they should sue for historic amount of defamation. It will take time for Jay-Z's lawyers to go over everything she said to point out the lies. And all it takes is one lie. She just said, Jay-Z dumping bodies in alleys. And I'm like, bitch, are you listening to who we run this town where, where he was rapping it? Are you listening to Monster Kanye West when Jay-Z said murder blocks and avenues and all you hear is kids streamers and, and, and blood and all? Are, are you referencing these lyrics and tying it up into this? Jag don't have nothing to lose. Uh, nothing to lose. You sue her and put her in debt for four, five, ten million dollars. It's not going to face her she don't have it she never will have it ever garnishing wages from her what are you going to garnish the cash outs she get she don't get a legitimate check from nowhere it was her mama check that she was spending up so for jay-z did and beyonce to sue jaguar right when there's been hundreds and thousands of people pretty much doing the same thing jag has been doing it gives her clout. It makes the scenes prominent. You know what her obituary get to say? Jaguar Wright, so R&B singer, signed to Jay-Z and started exposing him. And she was sued by Jay-Z. And before the lawsuit happened, she's she's gone. She was sued by Jay. Like, she wants her name tied to him. This is, Jag does not have a real life. Jag don't have no real friends. Jag has isolated herself from her entire family because she refused to stop lying. Jag just wants all the attention and she has nothing to lose. 
This bitch ain't got no soul. And it wasn't no need to sell it. It wasn't no need to sell it. Because she willfully exhausted it and gave it up, okay? Somebody said she must be special. Then she wants to be special. That's why she's doing all it is. Like, what are you talking about? If you can't comprehend that, guess what? You the reason why I'm not talking about this shit no more. I'm not, I, I have, as long as y'all keep me out of it, don't mention my name and shit, leave me alone. There's no, I don't care. Jack has a moment. It probably go out throughout this weekend. And, you know, the people going to start pointing her out because now you not now you didn't got up all these popcorn news, planet celebrity gossip. What's gonna happen when all the conspiracy channels catch up to you and start calling your shit out? What's gonna happen when trap trap boy Ross do a documentary on you? You just you just a piece of a puzzle of a bigger picture that you can't stop being attached to. Cause see, you want all the attention to be focused on Jay Z and Diddy, but when it when it goes to you, when it goes to you, your shit is fucked up, Jack. You ain't got a a a, a pot to piss in, nor one to throw it out, a nigga. Let's be real about that shit. So all of these protect this woman and wait for it. P Diddy will be unalive before court appearances. Zoe Kravitz needs coverage. She is telling the truth. Look, Zoe Kravitz needs coverage of conspiracy theories watching the movie. Shit. And they said Mel Gibson was making it up. Mel Gibson was talking about the Jews. Now all of a sudden, she tying herself into all of these satanic coach rituals and shit like that. You might as well watch this shit right here because this right here tripped me the fuck out. Wait, what is happening here? <clears throat> That's the cutting. <clears throat> And then Y'all I would still do the trust these people. Now we've mixed our blood. That's right. I want you to be this way every time you take communion, and you ought to take it a lot. A lot. Hmm. Yes, sir. Now his blood mm. is in my body. And yes, this is pastor. It's in there. His blood is mixed with my blood. Wait, Whoa. what is happening here? And that's a whole pastor. I guess that's what Jag is talking about. Oh, she's seen that, and now she's going to further say they all doing it in this. But uh, somebody said, what's the tea on Tom Hanks? His son want to be black and take more black dick than Jake Paul. I know that for a fact. Um. And they got a conspiracy out against him. That's it. That's Copeland. That's yo. Adim, yo. Anyways, um, yeah. So leave my name out of thumbnails. My opinion on Jaguar Wright has been the same, has always been the same, is gonna stay the same. I tried to help her. Y'all won't click some views. I really am just not interested. And that is, oh my goodness, the same people that stock Jags, that is just like, I can't get it. Anybody, anybody that's talked shit about Jag and exposed her to be a liar, and now you're copping a plea, pushing the opposite narrative, bro, you are misleading the people. And the people that rock with you, if they're not telling you, wait a minute, Six months ago, a year ago, isn't this what you said? Then you say she crazy, but now you're doing like now, nigga. And what's so crazy about it is, is, is people that I know, like my nigga, it's people that I motherfucking know that's sitting up here caping for Jay. Like, nigga, you said she was crazy. Stand on it. Oh, I need the new audience. I need the clicks and the views. Man, I ain't talking about Jay because. Y'all ain't gonna like what I got to say. It's the same shit I've been saying about Jay. I listen. One thing I'm not, I'm gonna tell you why I personally 
have not went to the extent of saying, all right, <clears throat> cancel Jag, even though I know she's a bald-headed liar. That's how she make her money. I'm not in the business of stopping nobody bad, but I'm definitely not in the business of propaganda and social engineering people and misleading people. I cannot do that. So again, at this point in time, with the people like Sherelle's world, uh, the Fiend team, all these people that know that she's a piece of shit, she ain't got nothing to live for, nothing to lose. Everybody who been covering her, all of these people, all these people know exactly who Jag are, and they feel like they got to push a pro-Jag narrative in order to keep talking about what they've been talking about. And that's the big problem I have. That's why I don't talk about Diddy, and that's, that's why I get discouraged because if I'm talking about this and you got a liar in the mix and everybody believe that liar and it's, it, it, I can't fuck with that shit. I'd rather just, it's other shit to talk about and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go along with Jags games and this lie. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. Okay. I definitely, definitely, definitely cannot do that. And so with that said, leave me out your thumbnails, out your title. I'm not watching you. I don't care what you got to say about Jaguar, right? Which is the complete opposite of what you did. Y'all niggas is fucking auditioning for an interview. Even Tissa Tails, you know Jaguar, right? Is a liar. The messy sweet spot, you know Jaguar, right? Is a liar. Sean David Wade, Nick at Night, Armand Wiggins, all y'all niggas know Jaguar is a fucking liar. And now y'all trying to kiss her ass because y'all want the clicks and the views. Guess what? I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, and I'm just not finna play this game. I'm not. I'm sorry. I gotta get going. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, hello, hello. Definite big YouTube broadcaster. Please stop bullying and harassment. Thank you.